In December 2012, the Smithsonian Institution's Arctic Studies Center brought together three contemporary Alaska Native artists who had up until this point been experimenting individually to piece together the tradition of rendering fish skins into beautiful, durable clothing and art. Fish skins were used in northern regions of the world, including Scandinavia, Siberia, Alaska, Canada, northern Japan, and France. The artists worked together for a week of teaching, learning, and studying objects made in previous generations. Along the way, from fish to completed work, they shared their knowledge with students, visitors, curators, and conservators who care for museum collections. Each of the three artists has a unique approach to her work and a commitment to this nearly lost art. What we do is we um, catch the salmon that we eat and we scrape the skins. We scrape all the skin and fat off of them so you get them good and clean and then I'm washing them. And then so here's a skin that's been washed and I put a treatment on it that is going to make it soft and then all I do is I um, just manipulate this um, for about five to eight hours and then it will turn into <coughs> that fish leather. You know, there's kind of a, a break in this knowledge about this material. So on having to learn on my own, um, I have to test everything. That's the only way. Um, you know, our ancestors, the people that come before us, do all the testing. And so when things are passed down, like um, my, you know, my mom's berry pie recipe, it's already been tried and true and tested and you do it just like that and you're gonna turn out with the same thing, you know? Um, recipes are passed on in that way, knowledge is passed on in that way, family history is passed on in that way. So we've just had a break in this and so this hasn't been passed on. So I've had to go and figure it all out. What I do is I do a salmon skin leather process and I do it the same way that you would tan, um, do a brain tan buckskin. Um, which is an indigenous method um, from many parts of the United States and the world. Um, so I tried it on fish skin and it worked really well and I've seen in collections where it looks like they've made fish skin, what I call fish skin leather, as opposed to drying it. People would have known from generations of wearing fish skin clothing, you know, if one worked better than the other, if one method worked better than the other, if this method worked better in boots and that method worked better in clothing. Um, I don't know any of that and I can't find any answers in books, so I have to test it all. I worked with fish all my life, um, but it was mostly for subsistence. And then when I discovered this art, it, to me, it's so beautiful. And not having anybody to teach us and tell us how to do it, you know, it's all experimental for me to try different things. The stitching and the time that the, our ancestors put into all this work, every stitch, you know, it's like, it makes me want to, okay, slow down. Don't just sew it fast, but learn what went in to the designs and the stitch. To be honored, to come back here and to be up close, and know that this is definitely strong and this can last a hundred years and this could be this strong of a material to use. I'm just so happy that I was invited because, you know, I don't feel alone. You know, like right now, when I was at home, I felt alone because I constantly had to experiment and try different techniques and now I know I have these other women to help me, you know, try to learn what they learned and then see the um, garments in the museum and I know that, you know, I could make other things and try to sew the same way. I want other people to learn, you know, I don't have nothing, no secrets that I want to hide. I want everyone to know that this is how I do it. It's a lot of work. If they want to continue, I just wish and hope that someone will continue to do it because, like I said, it's a lot of work. All of the conservators and I have been talking about how we really feel a responsibility uh, because we are charged to care for these objects. We really want to know more about how they're constructed and what the significance is. Um, and 
that's something that we've definitely learned throughout this week. And as a conservator, we always love working with artists who work with the materials um, and make the objects that we work with because you can learn so much. Here's a piece of uh, fish skin that was processed um, by coral turnoff and um, it was great to be able to really kind of take it and pull it and stretch it and you know really getting any kind of rip or tear in this I can totally understand now why why we're not seeing that it's just incredibly incredibly strong it's like you know the first the first Tyvek or something like that. Now with what what uh, the museum has brought us together has been one of the most rewarding things for me this week and most inspirational that I've had in a long time.